Hey there stampers, my name is Sherry Roth. I'm a Stampin' Up! demonstrator from Canada. And today I'm going to share how to make this Darlene card using the Darlene Donkeys Celebration stamp set. This combined with several other products just makes for the cutest, cutest card. So let's go ahead and get started. Now, first of all, the stamp sets that I'm using today are the You Are Amazing stamp set, which is in the January to June 2021 mini catalog and the Darling Donkeys stamp set, which is a celebration offering right now. So during the month of January and February 2021, you can pick up this stamp set for free with a qualifying purchase. And it is adorable, such a fun stamp set. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Now, to simplify things, I am using one of our note cards and envelopes. These are great, they come in a package of 20. These are the basic whites. They come pre-cut and scored with the envelope already to go all in one package. So this, we're just gonna fold along the score line, use our bone folder to make it nice and crisp, and then it's ready for us to decorate. Before we get started, um, I am going to take this piece of granny apple green cardstock, which measures three and a quarter by four and three quarters, and I'm going to emboss it using the painted texture embossing folder. This texture, this embossing folder is stunning. It gives the look of like smears of paint, thick smears of paint on your cardstock. Uh, it's just, I love it. And it's so versatile. You can use it for pretty much anything. All right, so I just ran that through and then wait until you see the texture on this. Look at that. So amazing. So this is gonna go right onto the center of our note card and envelope. So let's decide, let's put that side out. You can really use it either way. So I'm just using some of our seal adhesive to attach this on here. We'll have about an eighth of an inch border all, all the way around. Okay, and then I've got a piece of the Berry Blessings, I think, Berry Delightful DSP. This measures one by four and a half. So I think this is perfect. It just goes so well with those darling donkeys. So I'll just put a little bit of adhesive on here. This is gonna go across the center. Just like that. It's not meant to go all the way across, so there will be a little bit of green showing on both sides. And then I've gone ahead and I've cut a piece of, whisk of basic white using this shape from the Tasteful Labels dies. So I've gone ahead and done that. And now I'm going to stamp my greeting. So I'm using the You Are Amazing greeting and I'm going to ink up the word amazing with Poppy Parade. I'm going to use our stamp and write marker in Poppy Parade and color right on my stamps. That's one of the great things about our stamp and write markers is that you can use them to ink up your stamps in multi multi colors, multiple colors. So you can see that I'm using the side of the brush tip. This will help prolong the life of my markers. Okay, so I'm just coloring that over. It does dry relatively quickly. It's not instant, but I'll show you a way that you can re-moisten it. Now I'm taking the basic black stamp and write marker and I'm going over the words U and R. And then I'm going to give it a huff just to re-moisten everything. And you'll also notice that I started with the lighter of the two colors and that just allows me if I happen to go over, if I go, happen to go over the UR with the red, the darker color will cover it over. I always like to start with the light. Okay, so we've got our greeting. This can go on here. We're just gonna put it on flat. Just like this, and we're gonna put it in the center. All right, 
Okay, so now we're going to work on our donkey. So I've got a scrap piece of Whisper White cardstock, and I've got the donkey that is holding the rose in his mouth. I'm going to use some Memento ink, and I'm stamping with Memento ink because I am going to color in using our Stampin' Blends markers, which are alcohol markers. So if you are coloring in this donkey some other way, if you're using watercolors or watercolor pencils or your ink pads and an aqua painter, you'll want to choose a different ink to stamp your donkey in. Okay. All right, so now as far as colors go, I've got Smoky Slate. I'm not gonna color him all in for you guys. I've got some crumb cake. So what I'm gonna do is, first of all, for the crumb cake, I'm just gonna add a hint of the dark right here and on his tail and on his muzzle. And then I'll use light crumb cake to color in the rest of the hair on his tail and his hooves. So these markers are different than our Stampin' Write markers. These, al these are alcohol-based markers, whereas the other ones are water-based. These ones you do not want to use right on your stamps. Okay, so we'll color that in. I would do his hair in dark crumb cake as well, but like I said, I'm not gonna color in the whole thing. And then I'll do a little bit of his ears right here where it would be darker. And then add a little bit of light just to blend it in and finish coloring his ears. And then go back and we'll add a little bit of dark here right underneath where his hair is. And then color in the rest of his head with the light. I will leave just a little bit of white showing there, just kind of an idea of where the light is shining on him. And then I just repeat that process with the body. For the leaf, or yeah, sorry, the leaf, I'm just gonna use some dark granny apple green. Actually, this is light, I think. And I'm not gonna bother adding shading for this because it's so narrow and so small that you wouldn't really notice it anyways. The leaf is going to be poppy parade, or sorry, the flower. A Little bit of dark poppy parade and then some light just to finish coloring it in. And then for the inside of his ears, we use a little bit of flirty flamingo. color this in just a little bit and then add some light. Not really a whole lot of difference between the light and dark for this one. So I chose my colors, apart from the gray and the crumb cake, I chose my colors right from colors from the DSP. All right, so we would just finish coloring him in and then we don't have a dye for this so I did fussy cut it. So I've got him all fussy cut. We're gonna pop him up using some dimensionals. Okay. Just drop them on the floor. Okay, so, and he's gonna go right here. And then we could call it done, but if you've been following me for a while, you know that one of my intentions this year is to make a point of decorating the inside of the card and also the envelope. So I looked in the You Are Amazing stamp set and I want to use these as thank you cards. So I'm going to use this thanks and I'm gonna bring in three different colors of Stampin' Write markers. So I've got Flirty Flamingo, Poppy Parade and Basic Black. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna color this banner. So I'll do the T in Flirty Flamingo. This doesn't even look like it's writing here. 
Oh, my flirty flamingo is all dried out. Okay, let's not use flirty flamingo. Let's use, okay, let's use blushing bride. There we go. Okay, so T, the A, and the K will be done using Blushing Bride. And then I'll come in and do the rest of the letters, so the H, the N, and the S in Poppy Parade. So again, you can see that I started with the lighter color. And then the S, let's rotate it around this way. Okay, and then along the little bar that is holding these little flags, I'm just going to do some basic black. Okay, and then I'm gonna put my card down here. I'm gonna use my grid as a guide. I'm gonna huff on this. <sighs> that re-moistens that pink that has been sitting there for a little while. And I'm using the lines on my grid mat to kind of line this up so that it's straight. And then we have this really pretty thanks on the inside. Now for the envelope, let's do something fun on the envelope. And this I haven't tried. So I've just got a scrap piece of paper here and I've chosen, hey there friend, the little stars and the you're the best, all from the Darling Donkey stamp set. And I thought it would be fun to stamp kind of all over the envelope flap using a combination of those three. So basically just creating my own patterned paper or my own pattern on the envelope flap. So I've got a scrap piece underneath and then I've also got a scrap piece to protect my surface. And I'm going to use three different colors. So Flirty Flamingo, Granny Apple Green and Poppy Parade. So we'll open these up. Okay, let's do the Hey There Friend in Flirty Flamingo. And I'm gonna do them kind of random. Okay, and then we'll do the You're the Best in Poppy Parade. So I'm not overthinking it, I'm just kind of stamping down. Okay, and then we'll do the asterisk in green. And the reason I chose to do it this way, the asterisk are the smallest piece, and I really didn't want it to look Christmassy by doing red and green. So I'm just basically filling in the little spots. And it's just a cute way to dress up the envelope something a little bit different. I've been trying to really get creative on the ways that I decorate the envelopes and not do the same thing all the time. Okay, I think that looks good. All right, let's put the inks away and then I will bring back the card so you can see the card and the envelope together. Now, if you would like to order any of these supplies, feel free to visit my website at stampeddreaders.com. If you're in Canada, and if you enjoy my crafting projects or my style, I do have a membership group as well. So for those of you, well, whether you live in Canada or anywhere in the world, you can participate in this membership group. So I will post a link to that. I call it the treasure chest. I will post a link to that in the description below so that you can check out the details. And I'd love for you to come over there to join us. All right, so there we go. There's the card and the envelope, the decorated envelope, and then there's the inside. So I hope you enjoyed today's project. If you did, make sure you give me a thumbs up and I'll see you next time.